Okay, let's try to get it done here. So, about 10 years ago, everyone who knew what Rugrats was. It was one of the most popular cartoons, and we all loved it. This includes Spun... Excuse me, the Rugrats movie, Rugrats in Paris the movie, and Rugrats Go Wild. It's a fairly good DVD. Of what I heard, this is pretty much the way they celebrated the 20th anniversary. Yeah, this is it. No special whether they're all grown up or anything. Or really grown up. This. So, if you're a fan of Rugrats and you want something 20th anniversary related, get that. Avatar The Last Airbender. In my opinion, this was the last good Nicktoon they ever made. After that, they just never got, got to it again. And they just made stupider and stupider cartoons. This is book three. I always thought this was one of the only good series that, as it got older, it got better. I mean, most series get worse as they get older, but this actually got better. I mean, season one's okay, season two is good, and I think season three is just great. So this includes all the last episodes of the of the um, season three, or all season three. I'll try to get the other two volumes another day. Family Guy Volumes 1 and 2, or Seasons 1 and 2. This includes the first two seasons of Family Guy that aired at the beginning. And what I heard, this is when it was originally canceled, then it got renewed, then after Season 3 it got canceled again, and then renewed again. This is a pretty good volume. It has a lot of episodes in it, and has a lot of my favorite episodes in it. I remember watching Family Guy and back on Adult Swim about 10 years ago, and but my mom wouldn't let me usually, so I had to watch for her. Family Guy Volume 2, and includes the third season. This is probably also one of my favorite seasons. It has a lot of the good episodes I like in it, and I think this is where it originally ended. Yeah, it is. So this was the original last season of Family Guy before it ended. I usually had the box set of it, but it got stolen a long time ago. By someone. Family Guy Volume 3. I think this is okay. The reason for that is, I hate how they're splitting them up now. They're like doing only 13 episodes of Volume and doing about 6 episodes from a season, then 6 episodes from another season. I hate that. I just wish they would do the whole season. It's a lot easier that way, and that way you don't have to be all confused from it. I wish they would just do it the other way. The Simpsons Volume 1. It's the first season. So, it contains all the first <clears throat> episodes that aired in 1989 and 1990. This season's okay. It has some of my favorite episodes, like Bart the General, but most of the episodes I just think are okay. It's not the best. It also has a different theme song from the rest of them. I think it's because it's supposed to be longer or something. The Simpsons Season 2. This is where the show really started to pick up a what I heard. And it has a lot of the favorite episodes of fans and even uh, Mac Roding's favorite episode. And it's a pretty good season. Also has some of my favorite episodes. The Simpsons season three. This also has some really good episodes. Like uh, whatever. Uh, yeah. So this is probably also a pretty good season to get. The uh, Sim Simpsons season five. Yeah, I don't have season 4 yet. This one I bought at a store. And I haven't seen season 4 anywhere yet. This also has some pretty good episodes. And, uh, I think it was just right before um, some people would consider it, it to be the fall of The Simpsons or something. Like season 7. And I forgot which one it was. South Park season 1. I remember watching South Park back when I was little and... My mom would be like, don't watch that, don't watch that. <laughs> but me and my brothers just thought the show was hilarious, even though we didn't get any of the adult jokes. 
And then after about a couple years of not watching it, I got into it again. Now it's one of my favorite shows ever. I'm going to try to get all the seasons I can. Right now I only have a few. And season 2, this is the newest season I got for Christmas. Uh, it has episodes like uh, the episode of Evil Cartman, but not really evil. Oh, but I heard this is Matt and Trey's least, least favorite season. For some reason, they don't really like it. So they didn't make any commentaries on it. South Park Season 12. <clears throat> this also has pretty good episodes like the Cartman vs. Wendy episode and the episode where Cartman's ungroundable. Or not Cartman, uh, Butters. And a lot of people's favorite episode, the Total Boobical or something. It's a pretty good season and I like it. And my last DVD, Batman the Animated Series. I remember watching this series back when I was young. I thought it was pretty good, but I think I was more into Batman Beyond. And uh, I haven't gotten any seasons for that yet. I never do remember um, watching some movies on this. And also some crossovers with Superman. I always thought it was okay, but... Because I was never into too many comics as a kid, I didn't watch this too much. But I did watch it from time to time, and now I'm getting into it, it more and more. We'll try to get the rest of the scenes later on. And that's it. That's all my DVDs. I'll probably make another update in the future when I ever get more. Uh, so, that's really all I got for right now. I'm going to try to get all the Pixar movies at one point. Uh, South Park, like I said, and then Batman. I would also like Nickelodeon to release more of their classic DVDs. And to better DVDs, like with communities and stuff and bonus features, but they only have cheap DVDs now. So, for right now, this is what I'm stuck with. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned in for more updates.